Uh, I crashed in the first turn of a qualifier at Mount Morris and broke the fourth metal carpal in my hand. And then before Red Bud, I was ready to come back and I broke the the hamate in my hand. So I've, I've been struggling with it and it's still bothering me a little bit. But uh, my doctor told me if, um, if I can handle the pain, I'm not going to hurt it. So I've just been trying to get back into the flow of things. And I do pretty good for the first 20 minutes. And after that, I kind of fall off the pace. But I uh, hope to get back up to speed, you know, sometime around Millville. Yeah, I mean, it's been uh, a terrible year for me. Ever since uh, Atlanta Supercross last year, I got hurt pretty bad in a practice crash. And um, I've been hurt more this year than my uh, my whole riding career when I started when I was 13. And uh, it's been unfortunate. And... Um, I'm kind of getting old. I'm 28, and uh, which is kind of prime time for most professional careers. But man, I'm having a hard time working through all these injuries. And every time I come back, I'm working real hard. But uh, you know, I'm kind of uh, off the pace, and you know, everybody else is working real hard too. I'm just fighting everything in the wrong ways. Yeah, I mean, every weekend I, I come to the race and. You know, I, I feel like I'm trying my hardest and I'm uh, going as fast as I can. And then I look at the lap times and it's real disappointing because, um, you know, I'm like four or five seconds off of where I should be. And uh, it's kind of frustrating. And, it, um, you know, it's a lot. I have a lot of fun coming to the races and, and riding different tracks. And then when I see my lap times, it's, it kind of takes the fun out of it because I'm so slow. Yeah, Millville is my favorite track where I grew up in Minneapolis and uh, you know I have a lot of memories of racing there and um, every time we race Millville is a big race you know a local race uh, brings over a thousand riders so I, I mean that's the track I'm looking forward to and um, actually all the all you know four of the last or the three after Millville are good tracks for me so hopefully I can turn it around. Yeah, I mean, I've got a, I've talked with uh, Keith McCarty at Yamaha, and I have uh, a good offer from them, and um, I haven't put an agreement together yet. But I, uh, you know, I'm looking right now. I'm just, I'm struggling, but uh, I'm looking forward to next Supercross season. I know that that uh, the hard work that I put in right now it'll pay off come the U.S. Open and the McGrath race and the World Supercross rounds.